Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I wanna give you information about 5 Most Fascinating Mayan Ruins in Belize Number 5 Cahopec Cahopec is located on top of a steep hill, overlooking the Mikkel River, and is just a short distance from the town of San Ignacio. It was first settled around 1200 BC and abandoned around 800 to 900 AD. From this site, archaeologists have discovered important facts and information about the earliest Maya settlers. In comparison to some of Belize's other more well-known ruins, Cahopec is small. But it is worth visiting, especially if you will be in the San Ignacio area. It contains several ruins that you can climb or enter and explore. You will also find a small, but very informative museum about Mayan history at Cahopec. Number 4 Lubantun Lubantun, which is the largest Maya site in southern Belize, is known for the unusual construction of its buildings. Instead of limestone, which was typically used in the region, the buildings at Lubantun were constructed from black slate. In addition, no mortar was used in between the blocks, and the corners of the structures were rounded. Lu Banton is also known for the large collection of small ceramic objects that were discovered during its excavation. There is also a famous and controversial crystal skull that was allegedly discovered at Lu Banton, but some researchers dispute that it actually came from these ruins. Currently, Lu Banton does not attract a lot of visitors, so there is a good chance that you might be able to explore these Maya ruins accompanied only by the sounds of the surrounding jungle. Number 3 Barton Creek Cave Barton Creek Cave is one of the more unusual Mayan sites that you can visit while in Belize. It is a wet cave that was used by the Maya as early as AD 200 to 600 for ceremonial purposes. Archaeologists have discovered thousands of artifacts, including many ceramic fragments, on ledges within Barton Creek Cave, as well as the remains of at least 28 humans. Although researchers are not certain, it is believed that at least some of these humans may have been sacrificed to the rain god Chak. The cave is also filled with beautiful stalactites, stalagmites and bats. If you want to explore Barton Creek Cave, get ready to do some paddling. The only way to get to and explore this cave is via canoe. Number 2 Cerros Cerros, which was once a major trading center, is the only Maya ruins in Belize that is located on the coast. Some of this site's ruins are actually underwater now, while many others have not yet been excavated. Fortunately, though, there are several structures and ball courts that you can explore if you do decide to visit this somewhat remote site. Though Cerros is small, its location on the coast is beautiful and peaceful. Cerros can be reached via a quick boat ride across the bay from the town of Coros. It can also be reached by car during the dry season. But before warrant, the drive is approximately 3 hours long on an unpaved road. Number 1 El Pilar These Mayan ruins in Belize are located on the border of Belize and Guatemala and the El Pilar Archaeological Reserve for Maya Flora and Fauna. Work on this site is still ongoing and, in fact, much of El Pilar still remains in the early stages of excavation. So this site is actually an excellent example of what Maya sites look like before they are unearthed and restored. Its mostly unexcavated condition will also give you an idea of how easily these Mayan ruins can blend in with the surrounding jungle. Another plus? It is fairly remote and still does not attract many tourists. So it's highly likely that you'll be able to enjoy El Pilar with very few other visitors around. Tours are not always available to this site, so some travelers will hike in or rent an ATV or 4 times 4 so they can explore it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.